Hello everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are a returning um, subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And for those of you who are new, welcome and I hope you stay here and I hope you like what you hear. These are going to be your messages for the month of October. I have made a point on most of the videos to be very vocal about what my intention is with these messages. And I was actually asked by my spiritual team to let you know what that intention is and the purpose for why I do this. And the main reason why I do this for you, why I give you messages, is to give you tools and understandings so that you can apply it in your life in a way that allows you to feel freer, to feel much more empowered, to feel less stuck, to feel much happier. So that is what my intention is with every single message that I receive from spirit. So whether you are a Taurus or whether you are Virgo, whether you are Scorpio or some other sign, whatever comes through these messages for you, uh, they're meant to make you think, they're, make, they're meant to make you stop and pause, and they're, they're meant to make you reevaluate perhaps some things in your life. Uh, that also means that the focus isn't as much on predictions and the basic idea for it or the main reason for it is the predict, 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 predictive component of your future is very much tied to you and who you are as a person and what your beliefs are. So for me to say this is going to happen is very much dependent on where you're at and I think most of you get that but my greatest joy and my greatest uh, wish for you is always to hear that my messages help you because they help you stop and think and as a result of that you reevaluate some things you shuffle some things in your mind and you begin to have a brand new perspective which changes your perception of everything so that is my intention for you and it's important that I say this to you so that when you listen to this you may say that's not for me I want to know what's going to happen or you may say this is exactly for me because I want to know what's preventing me from uh, certain things in my life. Uh, these messages, as you notice, are coming early for you. I will hope, I will try to make it a habit of making them early. It is not the easiest task with my plate, with my full plate, but I will uh, do the best I can. I am also going to be offering live um, sessions on YouTube, so stay tuned. And I will do my best to do one in October. So stay tuned. This will be, um, I will let you know. And um, as always, thank you so much for liking, for sharing, for subscribing. Without you, I always say I wouldn't do this. And it brings me great joy and great happiness to see your comments on how my messages um, help you. And I think that's all I have. I hope you enjoy these. Of course, if it doesn't make sense to you at the beginning of when you hear it, listen to it towards the end of the month, you guys tell me that more often than not, it applies to you way more. So without further ado, let's get moving. Hello, beautiful Torians. These are going to be your messages for the month of October. Um, I have to tell you, the energy that I'm feeling is very profound. I feel like I'm about to jump out of my skin. It is a lot of excitement. My, my voice box is throbbing, which tells me it has a lot to do with expression. Uh, for some of you, it's singing. I'll let me, I'll leave that in. I'll leave that it for a moment. Uh, so the energy I have is full of excitement. When I was meditating on you, and I was, when I was um, asking certain questions, I felt um, I actually heard several things. Patience, which I thought, okay, well that's kind of funny. We haven't had that word in a while because I know there was a period of time where it kept coming over and over and over. And people seem to think that Astorians are stubborn um, and um, not patient. Mm, there might be some truth to it. However, um, I also for, uh, heard the word logistics. So there was there's few things. Month of October seems to be uh, spent a lot in creating stability it is about um it is about putting forth structures and foundations 
that will serve you going forward. Now, I feel like I've heard this before. I feel like I've said this before. If that's the case, this is for those of you who are at this at the at the brand at the brand new beginning or at a new stage of your life with something, and stability, uh, logistics. Uh, is very, very important in order to solidify whatever that is for you. So for those of you who are beginning a brand new job, obviously you will be starting fresh and new and it's important for you to go into this new adventure with a sense of ownership and with a sense of of stability inside. Why? One, why? Well, for one, it's going to make you much more effective at doing whatever you're doing. So that's number one. Number two, uh, the, the stronger building blocks your career is built on or your job is built on, the, 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 the better the end effects are of your work. In other words, what you are wanting to achieve has a much much greater chance of becoming a reality. Um, the patience here is, um, I feel like I want to do a whole bunch of things at the same time. And I feel like there's many things going on. And I feel like I need to decide, but then I feel like I'm being slightly pushed back. And I'm being asked to wait. So this can imply that some of you have some decisions that you want to make. And there's excitement about this. There is, yeah, it's either wanting to take on a new project, wanting to take on a new skill, wanting to take on a new course, wanting to do something different friend add something into your life and there is a sense of excitement but I but I hear hold your horses hold your horses so if you are building something perhaps the month of October is not a time to implement but rather to solidify your existing foundation so that whatever it is that you do uh, decide to uh, engage in or put forth or or realize for yourself it will have a it would have a stronger foundation to stand Stand on. You guys will know exactly what I mean by this if it's meant for you. Uh, chances are it feels fairly big. So it's not, it's not uh, you know, what shoes am I going to buy tomorrow? And that's the excitement. No, that's not what it is. It's something major. It's either something around your health, something around your relationship, something about your life. Uh, path, your career path, your um, uh, a hobby, a certain skill. It's something that is it's something that is effectively very important to you in whatever way. Um, let me just see if there's a yes. The other thing that I keep seeing is I'm being shown a big circle and a whole bunch of dots in the, in this circle. And this is a symbol to me that speaks to you needing to be mindful who is part of your circle and what part of a circle you are in. In other words, being mindful where your energy and resources come from and also where you give your resources and your energy. And energy is also your resource. So this to me speaks very much about uh, needing to be needing to be mindful where you spend your energy. For some of you, this is as simple as gossip, choosing to no longer participate or engage in gossip activity. Why? Well, for one, it, you know what, doesn't serve you. Number two, it's a waste of your energy and time. And number three, uh, it's, well, it's just, it, it's a lower vibrating activity, which means when you engage in it, you're kind of pulling yourself down. So if you are one of those individuals that likes to gossip, if you're pulled to gossip, chances are you might want to stay away from that, particularly if you are starting something new, if you are in a new job, you just starting um, class, some, you're, you're starting a new school, particularly if you are in a new environment, it is very, very, very important for you not to gossip. And I shouldn't have to say that it's none of my business, of course, but this is message for someone. Um, also, if you are surrounded by people who tend to gossip a lot, you want to ask yourself a question, how is this serving me? Because if that is the case, if you are part of a lot of drama, that drama will suck your energy dry. In other words, be very mindful where you where where you where you use your resources, where you put your energy. 
Conversely, if you are into a lot of drama, notice if that's a habit that you've been um, entertaining for quite some time and ask yourself the question why. If, you're, if drama always follows you, ask yourself this question, what is it inside of me that attracts this to me? Not a blame, but just the self-reflection. Why am I saying this? Because many of you, many of us, make things way over complicated. We complicate things. Uh, we complicate things by choosing to do things we don't want to, by associating ourselves with people we don't want to, by choosing to adhere to certain rules that don't serve us. Whatever it is, we make our own drama quite frequently. So if there's any drama in your life, if you are pulled toward, towards drama, it's time to, it's time to it's time to eliminate that from your life as much as you can, which also means you have to, in many cases, put your foot down. And which leads me to my first card, which is power of sound. So this is this is your voice box. This is what I was talking about at the very beginning. This is this is your throat. So for some of you, this is about singing. Yes, you might be a singer. Yes, you may not be a singer. But singing is something that is very much a part of you. So if you are someone who likes to sing, you are someone who used to sing but sings no longer, uh, any sort of activity where you can effectively engage in that allows you to, to express your voice effectively is hugely, hugely important. For some of you, it is solidifying your own voice. And what do I mean by this? It is about engaging in activities that will allow you to practice singing better, speaking better, converse better, communicate better, um, project information better. Some of you might be public speakers, and I feel I've said this to you guys before. Um, so it's no surprise. Taurus is ruled by the throat. That is that is our challenge area. So oftentimes we will have difficulties with our voice box, with our ability to, to control our emotions, or uh, we'll have difficulty with controlling too much, not being able to control or controlling too much. Uh, so power of sound is singing for some of you. For some of you, it is just simply expressing your ideas, expressing your valuable information, ex ex expressing you in a way that is not only effective, but that is reflective of who you truly are, which brings me to my next point. When remember we talked about um, gossip, Gossip, well, what is gossip? Gossip is speaking, right? And if you are using your voice in ways that is detrimental to you, again, you might want to pull away from that activity. So again, this is kind of guiding me in this direction. If, if you're one who speaks with words that are not kind, or if you are pulled towards people who gossip about other people, you are not using your voice in effective ways. I think I'm gonna leave that because I think you guys get it. But more than anything, this is about your own power, which can all which is which is always no which is always which of course is expressed through your voice. Some of you might have some issues with throat in the month of October, which will limit your ability to speak. So uh, maybe I'm just picking up somebody getting a cold. I'm actually hearing the word laryngitis. So I don't know what, well, it's laryngitis, larynx here. So if you have laryngitis, um, if you have some sort of an infection, um, then obviously check that out. I mean, we are in going into fall. So, you know, no, that wouldn't be a surprise. For some of you, you need to speak a little bit lower because you have a tendency to yell. So particularly in your conversations with others, if you have a tendency to yell uh, because you're trying to get your point across, chances are uh, it's not effective, number one, so you know that. Number two, uh, you will have a tendency to turn people off. Yes, sometimes we need to yell to get attention, but yelling oftentimes does not make a difference if it comes from, uh, from, um, from an energy that does not have authority. So in other words, if you don't feel authoritative inside, yelling isn't going to help you. People are not going to hear you. Um, so you need to find a way to communicate much more effectively. Also, some of you uh, express anger 
through voice. So you, um, well, you yell, you call people names, uh, you, you say things that are not very kind. Again, notice, notice if that's what you do because um, because um, this is this is what's being addressed. So that's what I'm gonna leave with this card. You have loyal heart and this is brilliant because loyal heart, this card here is to me similar to, if not very much the same uh, as the lovers. So lovers to me means many things. It's the obvious, yes, it's relationships. So some of you need to be more discerning with your voice in your relationships. That's one message. Um, some of you need to become more in tune with your partner. Now, what do I mean by this? Um, there's a need to better understand your partner. So this is specifically in relationships. Um, Perhaps you feel unheard, which will often make you angry and you will express that. Uh, perhaps you feel the person doesn't understand you. Perhaps the person feels you don't understand them. And as a result, there's conflict in communication. So for some of you, for very few of you, the message here is you need to understand your partner more completely. And you do that by asking questions. And again, sound, right? Asking questions. Uh, now, it doesn't mean imply that there's a there's a problem here because this is this is upright. So no, it's not a problem. But Effective communication is key to any relationship. For others of you, it symbolizes that whatever you are committed to, whatever you have been loyal to, whatever you have been putting your energy to and making it consistent, it has a really good chance of becoming your fruition. In other words, if you've been working on something really hard, if you've been working on public speaking, if you've been working on expressing your individuality, if you've been working on singing, if you've been working on expressing differently, period, and if you've put effort into it, chances are there's a very good possibility that you will see this in front of you very, very, in the very near future. I'm hearing again next year and I'm being taken to month of January and February. So for some of you, this is... Uh, a manifestation of something important that you were look that you were working working at. For some of you, it is manifestation of a brand new committed relationship coming your way. For some of you, your current relationship will reach a level of commitment that is very new uh, and very fresh, very different. And that could be obviously romantic, but it could also be in it could also be at work. Um, you have Seven of Cups. So Seven of Cups is all about choices and decisions. And I feel like some of you are going to be slightly unclear on what choice on decision uh, you're wanting to make. There seems to be a lot of opportunities or at least a lot of choices or options. And it feels like you are unsure which way to go. And again, I'm being shown the analogy of a circle with dots inside. This is about if you are presented with a whole bunch of options or if you are trying to figure things out and you are not sure as to direction or, or yeah, you're, you're, you're unsure what choices to make. Ask yourself which choices will bring you closer to what you want and which choices will take you further away from it. That will help you, um, that will help you, it'll help you solidify, number one, what your intention is, but number two, it'll help you clearer see what where what is it that you're needing to choose or decide based on what your intended goal is? Um, I hear options, options, options. Remember when I was talking about patience and at the beginning saying that some of you may have a lot of options, but perhaps October is not the time to make choices. It's perhaps time to be a little bit more patient. And for some of you, it's because you do not have clarity, so you cannot see very clearly. Uh, and some of you, things haven't come to a point where you go, yep, that's it. So you're still in the unsure stage. Um, 
a lot of it I feel has to do with career. Much of it has to do with career. For those of you, if this is not a career, it is your expression and particularly voice. How do you speak to yourself? How do you speak to others? How do you express your ideas? How do you communicate when things go sideways? Do you communicate with a sense of anger and resentment or do you come more from the place of balance and peace? Do you use your voice in order to hurt others or do you use your voice in order to empower others or yourself? So that's common for everybody, but that's what's being shown. The balance card is all about looking what is internally out of balance, number one, and also what is out of balance in your physical life. When we look at those things and we look at them closely, we then have the opportunity to decipher if what if it's still what we really want. So this again ties to me with options. And some of you may have felt quite out of balance for quite some time. Some of you in the month of October will feel all over the place, which is not balance. So the important thing here to remember is if you are in that position in October, look at what sort of things, first of all, outside of you, what sort of things take you away from feeling balanced? Is it too much stress that you put on your shoulders? Is it too, is it too much um, pressure you put on your shoulders? Is it people putting too much pressure on you and you allowing it? Is it you not giving enough to yourself, giving too much to people? You not giving enough to other people? Perhaps you're being a little bit selfish, you're holding back. Whatever the out of balance component is for you, it's important for you to address it. Um, you have the card of uh, tiger. It was beautiful when I saw this because the tiger is all about feminine energy. It's all about the feminine power. It's also about the moon and the moon is mysterious. I keep seeing in my mind the Empress, which is the second card, the third card in the tarot deck, the number two. Uh, there is intuition here. So month of October, really important for you to rely on your own intuition. I mean, it is always important to rely on your intuition, in my belief. Uh, always couple this with your good logic and reason. But October seems to be one of those mysterious months for many of you where, particularly for those of you who are already uh, intuitive or psychic, you might find that your intuition or your psychic activity amplifies. For some of you, um, you 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 will be exposed to different sources or resources that will amplify your ability to connect. I'm taking a course in October that is like that, so that's that would apply to me. Uh, and you see there's a moon on her forehead. I'm going to call her her. Okay. So this is this is about being guided by uh, the deeper aspects of ourself, the, the, the mysterious, the intuitive. Um, I hear the word mother, mother. I, um, perhaps you are a mother. Perhaps you're becoming a mother. I don't know why I'm saying the word mother. There's something very nurturing about this. Um, you might be someone who is in a position to nurture others, and that's your true power. And if that is the case, it is important for you to become very, uh, very strong in yourself so that when you do nurture others, you don't come from the place of lack yourself, but to the, but you come from the place of stability and 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 peace, contentment. Um, you also have the card unicorn. I love when this card comes up because this is all about uniqueness. So this is for those of you who feel that are different. If you are one of those people, celebrate it, enjoy it, embody it, own it. This is how I talk about this card, this unicorn card. Some people believe in unicorns, unicorns, some don't. Some people believe that it's real, and some people say it's just a figment of our imagination. But the unicorn, unicorn doesn't give a shit, excuse my French. The unicorn doesn't care what people think about him or her. The unicorn believes in itself. So this is a huge message of empowerment here. For many of you, this is about owning your difference, 
owning your uniqueness, owning your ability to come into this world with different gifts and skills that are maybe on the scale of weird or unusual. Maybe you have some quirks about you that are truly magnificent and you need to express those. Maybe this is your singing. Maybe this is you. Maybe you are uh, someone who likes to make jokes for a living and you're a comedian. It could be anything that, again, is your voice. And I'm looking at the King of um, Swords, which is um, because it's a general reading or general message. King, it just signifies to me someone in authority. But this is also about you being very resolute and also being in charge of your own thoughts and your own emotions. This is someone who is very solid in their foundation. Um, if you ever seen an effective leader or a king, effective one, um, you see them usually as being very collected. Uh, you don't see them being all over the place. You see them as someone who is in charge and collected. So this is where you're heading. This is, this is I feel, what many of you have struggled with. Perhaps in the past, you are you are you are more wired into being um, overly anxious, and if that's the case, you would not feel um, you would not feel very strong inside of yourself. Because in anxiety, a lot of it is about questioning, it's about doubt, it's about not being sure. Um, so that's what I get here. Very important. Is there anything I need to see? I also want to say, don't miss the signs. So for some of you, um, you might actually be getting some intuitive info and you're either too distracted to notice it or you are choosing not to notice it or not to see it as real. It's going to be for very, very few of you. Uh, some of you, I feel like you have been getting messages, but you're not hearing it or you're not seeing it. And I, and I keep seeing the number six. So maybe six, 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 six. There's a number six here that's being shown. Um, that's going to be for very, very few of you. I also want to say, don't miss the opportunity to be great. And what this tells me is that for some of you, Something will transpire where an offer will be made to you, uh, but it will feel so out of reach for you that your first reaction will be not to take it. So if that's the case for you, it's important for you to pause and think. Be logical. Look at your emotions. Look what is out of balance that might be saying to you, don't take it. Um, check with your intuition. This could be one of the things that you might be contemplating about. There's something for real for some of you that is uh, as an offer. I'm seeing cup being offered to you. So there's something new. Some new offer is being offered to you. Uh, and then I hear the words consistency is key. So we can apply that to pretty much anything. And then I'm seeing an Eiffel Tower. Um, maybe some of you are traveling to Europe. Maybe some of you are traveling to see the Eiffel Tower. Maybe some of you are getting married in uh, in Vegas and you're getting married in Paris Hotel. I have no idea how that, that fits in, but the Eiffel Tower is being shown to me, but it's also very symbolic. And I think that's all I have. This was quite exciting. I hope this made sense. If it doesn't make sense to you at the beginning, listen to it again towards the end of the month. I do wish you best of luck for private uh, sessions and to see how life is around you. Uh, that information is down below. Uh, and above all, thank you so much for sharing, for liking, for subscribing and for watching. Uh, there are many, many people out there on YouTube. So thank you for sharing your time with me. I wish you best luck of, in October and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.